Hello, in this session we will look at the provider meta argument. Now the provider meta argument can be used if you want to override the default Terraform configuration based on the resource type that you are creating. So by default when you are writing the configuration files we provide one provider block. Now the same provider block will be used for all the resources. So let's say you want to launch multiple instances or you are creating multiple resources the same provider block will be used however uh, if you want to create the resources in different regions or um, uh, maybe you want to launch two instances in uh, multiple regions then we can make use of this provider meta argument to override the default uh, provider configuration that we provide so the value of the provider meta argument should be unquoted provider dot alias reference as described in the provider configuration, you can optionally create multiple configurations for a single provider. That means you can define multiple provider blocks depending on your use case. So each provider can have one default configuration and any number of alternate configurations that include extra name segments. So by default, we have one uh, uh, provider configuration. So for example, here, if we uh, see this count meta argument, by default, we will have one provider block and the same provider block will be used for uh, all the resource creation. However, you, Terraform also accepts multiple provider blocks. So one will be uh, considered as the default one and the rest of the provider blocks can be considered as alternate configurations for the resource creation. So by default Terraform interprets the initial work in the resource type as the local name of the provider and uses that provider's Terraform configuration. All right. So for example, the resource type AWS underscore instance is associated automatically with the default configuration for the provider named AWS. So here let's say I've defined this resource block. Now for this resource block, this provider block will be considered as the default. Now by using the provider meta argument, you can select an alternate provider configuration for a resource. So here if you see, I have declared two provider block. One will be considered as the default configuration and the other one will be considered as an alternate configuration so like i said let's say you have a requirement that you want to create the resources in two regions so same instances same uh, resources but in two different regions then we can make use of this provider meta argument so here if you see this is the, how we can define the alternate provider configuration so provider will be aws and we have to make use of an alias name and then in which region you want this provider to point and then in the resource block this is how we call that provider meta argument so depending on in which uh, region you want to create those specific resources you will have to uh, call the provider meta argument if not the resources will be created in the default provider block so a resource always has an implicit dependency on its associated provider to ensure that the provider is fully configured before any resource actions are taken okay so the provider meta argument expects a provider dot alias reference which does not need to be quoted so here if you can see when we are calling the provider uh, meta argument it should be the provider name which is aws in this case and then the alias name and it should be unquoted we should not be using quotes over here so arbitrary expressions are not permitted for provider because it must be resolved while terraform is constructing the dependency graph before it is safe to evaluate expression. So again here, uh, Terraform should be able to resolve the values. So we should not be using any arbitrary expressions uh, that is not expected. So the value should be known before we start executing this. So let's see an example for this. So here is the code uh, that uh, I will be using for this example. Now before I use this, uh, let's go with the default uh, uh, provider block and let's see what it does for us. So here we'll start uh, writing the code. So let me just quickly copy all of this. So here we'll create locals.tf. So this becomes my locals. Then let's define the main.tf. So this will be main.tf. And here you can see I'm calling the provider meta argument. For now, I'll comment this and let's see what this will do for us. 
and then we'll have our uh, provider dot df so as you can see here i have defined two provider blocks so here i have two provider block one is the uh, default provider block so this is the default provider configuration and here we have the alternate uh, provider configuration so before we use this let me comment this and let's see what terraform will do so i'll save this file and now uh, uh, we'll define the variables so here uh, i'm launching two ec2 instances so i am using two different amis for this so here this is image one and this is image two so basically two amis for two different ec2 instances and then we'll have the terraform.tf vars where i have all the values so here if you see um, i have defined uh, two amis which are in two different regions so this ami it's available in the us east one region which is north virginia and then i have this ami which is available in the oregon region so let's i'll save this file and uh, let me initialize this okay so let's uh, generate a plan so this should create or the plan should show that this will add two resources for us now let's apply this and you will see that uh, uh, terraform will fail when uh, launching the when creating the resources this is because i have um, two amis which are available in two different regions and uh, in our uh, provider uh, block if you see what i've done is i've commented out the alternate configuration so it will only look at this provider block which is uh, us east one and what will happen is Terraform will not be able to find the AMI in that region and it will fail. So this is where the provider meta argument comes in. So what we can do is uh, we can instead of you know having to maintain uh, separate codes for uh, separate regions, we can make use of this provider uh, meta argument to uh, define the additional or the alternate provider configuration and then we can start calling that within our resource blocks so here you can see this has failed with the invalid ami id so it says does not exist so what is happening here is terraform is looking for this ami in my us east one region all right and it is not able to find it so let me just quickly destroy this resource just waiting for the resource to be destroyed okay so now let's go to the uh, provider and what i'll do is i will uncomment our alternate configuration so this is where i'm defining the alternate provider uh, meta argument so you can define multiple uh, provider meta arguments you want however we'll have one default uh, provider uh, 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 block all right so here uh, that's a provider and then we have to make use of an alias name and then which region this is pointing to and then in our uh, resource block we will be calling that meta argument so here if you see for this particular uh, resource so in this case this resource will be launched will be will use the default provider block and in this case for this particular resource the uh, alternate provider block will be utilized so here if you see i'm calling the provider um, meta argument and then i'm using the provider name and the alias name that we have defined now when i uh, run this terraform will understand that uh, for one of the resource it has to use the default provider block and for the other resource it has to use the alternate provider block and it will create the resources for us let's wait for this to uh, create the resources just waiting for the resources to be created
and done. So now if you see here, I did not get the error, the invalid AMI or AMI not found error that we got in the previous case and two resources has been launched. So we can validate this. So here if you see, uh, this is in my Oregon region and if I refresh this, I should be able to see one uh, instance and this is my North Virginia region and here is another instance for us. Okay, so this is basically what your uh, provider uh, meta argument is so like this if you want to create your resources across uh, multiple regions then we can make use of the provider meta argument that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video